This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. We're Simon Gimel, uh, Siv Zion. So we're talking about the halachas of the bathroom. So we'll uh, continue Siv Zion. Hamatzel Maim Minat Seifim. If a person happens to be near Harabais in the old city, Paul, um, the, and he's, he's in the, he happens to be in Yerushalayim, Pirush, Mokum Sheyacholim Lirais Misham Harabais, where he can see the Harabais, he needs to go to the bathroom. Misham Vahala, any Yacholim Lirais, but beyond that he can't see. So what should he do? Yeshev Uponov Klapi HaKodesh. He should sit down and he should face Klapi HaKodesh. He, sorry, Lo Yesh. The, yeah, the, 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 the text is a bit of a discussion about the text here. So the Taz, Mishmur brings that the Taz adds in the words, Lo Yeshe. You shouldn't be facing the Harabites. Ella, but rather, the Tzofen of the Dharm, you face north or south, or you move to the sides. Says Mishnah Bura, in Sivkot Nid Gimol, Lo Yeshe Vafonov, Kein Tzor Echlema. Yeah, you, Taz Vashar Echronim. So the Mishnah Bura brings the Taz and the other Echronim that you it should say Lo Yeshe, because you shouldn't be disrespectful to Mokham Yiddish. Ella, the Tzofen, uh, you know, often, but you should be, you should face north. If you're facing your back to the, to the, to the base of Migdash, then if you're, if you're facing with your back to the base of Migdash, then uh, you're passing water, urinating is okay because that's the other direction. The, the gun is masking even facing the Tzofim Velachutz, in part of Klapi HaKodesh, if your face is facing the Kodesh, also by HaTolos Meraglion, because that's considered disrespectful. Also, Lamed Lufonus Lehedja, Neged Beis HaKnesis, or Beis HaMedrash, and so too, it's also to, to, to be opposite of Beis HaKnesis, or Beis HaMedrash, and to relieve oneself there. To lo yehei michlau mishnem aleim v'achoreim al heichel Hashem, al heichel Hashem. But it shouldn't be considered that you're facing your back to the heichel Hashem. But you shouldn't, you shouldn't set up a base of kisse opposite a shul or a base of medrash. Shelo ye happy hat tabas mugula negdom because it's considered disrespectful to to sort of expose yourself in that way. Then boyne kaisel beemsel lahapsi beemchis base of kisse base of knesses. If there is a wall, yeah, and that and nowadays the bathrooms we have nowadays, of course, there can be walls there, so therefore it's not really a problem. And therefore lichayra ein lahachme. So take a look at the mishnah brura. What about if there's a wall there? But there's bad smell. So it says the in the footnotes in the dish number eight, he says, You can build a wall there, but if the bad smell is coming through to the base of Knesses, but nowadays, Baruch Hashem, there's, you know, there's proper walls, you know, floor to ceiling, and therefore it's, it's a different world. Okay, but I am Baruch Okay, see if Chetz. A person's uh, out in the field and he needs the bathroom. If he's there as a fence nearby, you put him out. Then you can you can don't have to wait. You go straight to the fence, and therefore that's considered sanua. It's more of a sneers way of doing it. If a person's in an open field or something, then you try and distance yourself that you go far away that you can't be uh, you can't see you, your state of exposure. You put him out. It says Rashi says Nishabura to He should go straight away because if you're against the wall, you go on the other side of the wall, therefore no one is going to see you exposed. And so too in a in a chotzer, if it's behind the house, again it's in a private place. And that's of course the underlying theme here to do, you know, to, to relieve oneself in a Tsanua way. Even if someone else hears him passing wind, there's no problem. If a person passes wind, then that's not a lack of sneers. It's just a bit embarrassing. What does he mean, Peru? His exposure, he's, not, he's being in a state of undress. Sorry, that would be uh, allowed. Good. Steve Cotton Tess. Sorry, Steve Tess. Lo yeshev in the hair of a When a person goes to the bathroom, he shouldn't sit down and force himself too much to relieve himself. Lo yenos litcha kasma yosu midai. Shelo yenatik shine ha karkashta. Which is going brachas that you can do damage. You can, uh, you can, you can disturb the sinews and some of the, you know, the medically it's dangerous to do that. So you shouldn't force yourself too much. It's stimmed to the Rambam. The Rambam hechus deyes talks about the importance of a, a healthy diet and he talks about eating fruits and vegetable so that he says that you shouldn't come to this situation where you're going to force yourself to go to the bathroom which is dangerous see if you'd 
לא ייכנח ביד ימין. לא לעצור wipe the Sabbath to go to the bathroom with your right hand. says the Mishnabura, סיפקות מי"ז, מפני שכי שבו תפילין על זרוע השמאלי. because the right hand is used to wrap the tefillin on the left hand. So take a look at foot in, in Mishnabura in, in, uh, in uh, Dirshu note number nine. Well, Masha Mutzla Kanech Biyad Smol, what's the obvious question? So you can do it with your left, left hand, hand, but the left, well, we'll come to that in a second. But the, the left-handed person, sorry, the, the right-handed person is, is, is use your right hand to tie it on, and therefore you shouldn't use your right hand to be Mekaneach, you should use your left hand. But you're putting the tin on the left hand. So doesn't that give it chashivas? So it says the Dirshu note, Masha Mutzla Kanech Biyad Smol, you're putting it on your bicep, you're putting it up further up and not really on your hand, you're just tying it to its round. But the actual tefillin go further up your hand. There's no isa to wipe with your left hand. The tying is done with the hand itself and therefore it's considered more chashiv. Um, okay, let's uh, let's carry on the Mishnah Bura. The Toiv Li I mean, just a, a few words into the Sif Kotten Yuzayin. The Toiv Li Zohir Melekanech Be'etzpahim. So I want you to try and avoid um, wiping with the, with the middle finger. And so I should carry a because that's where you're tying the tour around. Because of Achronim, the Itayat. Oh, what about a lefty? What does a lefty do? Shekol Inyan of Oisa Bismol. He uses his left hand for everything. Melekanech Bismol Bidei Shehu Yamin Tchkol Adom. He should use his weaker hand, i.e., his right hand. So it's exact. So in this situation, the lefty doesn't it does the opposite of what the right-handed person does, and it all depends on where his tefillin. Since the lefty is putting his tefillin on with his left hand, he should therefore not use that hand, and rather he should use his right hand. Uh, if you look at the, the Dirshu note number eleven, um, oh sorry, okay, we'll come to that in a second. Let's we'll come to both the notes in a second. Let's just finish off Mishnah Berurah. Then kosev is small. Rosham Meisiv Eisav B'Yimin Ola Hepach. I am the Bir Halacha. Okay, so let's take a look. First of all, take a look at the Dirshu note number 10. <coughs> Shetam HaDov, what's, what's the reason? Why is it that the right is Choshev? Shetam HaDov, who Mishum, Shatar and Nitna Biyamin. You see, the, the, he says there, it's not just because the right hand is Choshev, because you're right, you're, you're tying your Tfinim with the right hand. But there are other reasons given as well. The Gemara says, because the Torah is Nitna Biyamin, Shanem HaBiyamin, Minoi Eish Dos Lamoi. Or Mishum Shiragila Su Lahoshev, Yad, Yamin the Pan, amazing thing. The Gemara says that when you eat, you're a right-handed person would touch the food and take the food and eat with his right hand. And therefore, if you're using that hand to the Kaneach, it's dangerous. It's amazing how, you know, we're, we're worried, we're concerned about germs and health. You know, nowadays, in the COVID era, we're all very familiar with that. But in the times of the Gemara, the Gemara was very aware of that. And therefore, to use a different hand, which you're going to use generally to put food into your mouth, therefore, you, that, that's one of the reasons. You point with your finger, you know, you're pointing and use your hand. Therefore, to use that hand when you're pointing, you, know, you go to some Spanish shows nowadays, they do it, I forget what they call it. They, um, there's a word for it, I forget, there's a word, where they, 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 they direct the Balkura, or something, where they, where they direct, I've seen it done, it's amazing. And they, they normally, they've got like a sign language, how they can direct the Balkura. Um, now, the question is, what about an Isha? So it's an interesting thing. Because you've got four reasons over here. So what does a woman do? So says the says the next paragraph when the Gabi Isha calls of Hamar Vaktia, she gam heat srichilahak which lil kanech be yadimin. And Isha as well, a woman as well, should not wipe with her right hand, even though the obviously the reason of Tfilin doesn't apply. Because the other reasons do apply. She also eats with her hand, and each of the Torah is given, etc. However, he brings someone else, the Machzik, the Bracha, who argues in Eina Hachme Beisha. Okay, then number 11, a very interesting Deirsha note. Of a Tam Hadav a Kosu um, This is going on, uh, this is going on number 11, um, a left-handed person. So the left-handed person, he, he, uh, he, he, he puts on Tefillin with his left hand, he ties it with his left hand, and therefore you shouldn't wipe with the left hand, the left-handed person, rather he doesn't wipe. It says the Taz, in the Morgan Avraham, Mostasvara, because there are three of the four reasons that are brought in the Gemara. He should use his right hand. Why? That's one reason. He's going to use his, his left hand to eat. So therefore, that's, that reason also applies. Etc. 
And therefore, for that reason, the left-handed person, all the other reasons apply. So he should talk to wipe himself with his right hand, not with his left hand. Okay, let's, uh, let's just have a quick look at the Bihalacha, very interesting Bihalacha. And, and that is, what does an ambidextrous person do? So take a look at the Bihalacha in Lo Yikanech Biyadjimim. I am a Mishnah Bura, the Iter, a left-handed person, Shekhoisev small. he writes with his left hand, Beshah Maisev Oisev Biyamin, and everything else he does with his right hand. Yeah, there's a famous story with um, uh, your Mr. Joshua was about this. Yeah, your Mr. Joshua was much about this. But uh, there's a famous Maisev with the, with the Yaakov Kamenetsky that, uh, that you get a situation where sometimes a person, a boy, writes with one hand and the other hand is stronger. There's a Shaila, what hand do you put your tefillin on? So the Yaakov was trying to ascertain which hand was the stronger hand. So he said to this, uh, he said to the, the boy, he said, when you play ball and you throw the ball and you pitch, he says, which hand do you pitch with? So the father interrupted his mind, saying, uh, he doesn't play ball. I'm saying, I'm sorry, I'm sure. When you hit your sister, which hand? <laughs> so he said, <laughs> you wanted to ask him. So that's the shine. So, so says the Bihalach, I have a mission to do it. The face of the small, the shah mice of So you've got a left handed person who writes with his left hand, but he does all his other actions with his right hand. They they these achrenim that you should use the smart your left hand. The loy aznin and bossa ksiva the day after koshe bat So you see, the ebi use the stronger hand. Now that's a big discussion in the place and what you should do. But that's what is brought here in the bihalacha. Now turning over the page to the end of the bihalacha, just the very end, the last line. The imkoshe bimim. What about the other round? What if he writes with his right hand? Or shah mice of oisa small. And everything else he does with his left hand. So the dvar of gamkein haru kucholodom that he should do what no what other people do. So that's a discussion about the person who's ambidextrous. Okay, let's go back to Yudalif. Finish off Yudalif. This is the mechaba. Lo yikaneach becheres. A person shouldn't wipe himself. Look, Baruch Hashem, we're in a world where there's toilet paper. It's a different world. But uh, in you know back in the times of Chazal, it was a different world. And this is the halacha taken from the Gemara Brachos. Lo yikaneach becheres. You shouldn't wipe yourself with a piece of clay. Him, it's, it's dangerous for, for magic and for, for tumor, etc. But, for, but like, like bad uh, influences and um, um, uh, sort of black magic. Not, not with dry grass. Because something which is combustible, uh, it, it could do damage medically. But not with a stone that someone else has used. Which again, a medical ailment. Says the Ramah, what's that? Yeah, we'll see in a second. We'll see in a second. This is exactly your point. You can do it even with things which are combustible, such as toilet paper. A very interesting concept in halacha. Go see what they do outside. You want to know what the halacha is? Go you know, see how the Says the Mishnah Even if it's smooth, it's not going to tear the skin. Still, you shouldn't do it. Because if it's not smooth, i.e. it's got uh, rough edges, it's dangerous. He's going to tear some ligaments. It's smooth and it's okay. In other words, if the friend has used it and you want to use the other side, that would be okay. But if you have to use it, you have to use it, you have to use it. But Dov Shar F should Dafka the Indian Sh Shadow. Let's talk about other things. Of the Indian are sovereign Yavashim, if it's dangerous in any way, Gamla Hago Yeshlahmed, then even the Rama would agree that you should mach and not use something which could be dangerous. The Hayat Machat Khim is a boss, it could tear the flesh. I'm a prima god. Because of Bahagos Rubi Kivaiga, the shame safe chasidim, because she yes and basic kisse, when you leave the bathroom, Yira Hamakum Shiyosha will love Shalayam to know this. Make sure you've left it clean. Isn't that amazing? Rabbi Kiva Eger quotes the Sefer Chassidim to leave it clean. The next guy's going to go there, and it's not fair for him to go when it's been left in that way. Let's just do one more Sefer. Yipone, but Sneus. A person should relieve himself in Sneus, but Laila Kamo Bayom, says the Mishnah Bura, just because it's night time and it's dark, you shouldn't expose more of your body than necessary, more than as if it were in the daytime. And you shouldn't uh, night and day is the same. But just that at the night time, you don't have to go too far away into the field because it's night time and it's more private. If there's no one around, you can actually go to the bathroom in the street. 
but Rakshi is actually low yet mock and he looked longer. People have to walk there. Conditionally, it's for many other than the other, otherwise, people will saw their clothes and they'll, it's not fair. I would be Yesham Adam, there are people there at the time. I feel in Nachri, also the funnels, the funnel, it's also to relieve yourself there. The Chose and the funnels, which means to defecate, Gadolim, Avalahash, then to urinate. Muta feel be yom if they're up, and then even you know to, to go to the side of the street if one needs to go to the bathroom, then it's allowed. And tzarich lekach if you need to she'en lemakom if there's no place. Va feel be fe ish even if there's a woman there be fe because I can't in yamidatzim because a person there is danger from holding yourself back from when you need the bathroom and not going. Ve ish lo samad lahash not neged fun of shabtinok that a woman shouldn't relieve herself even in front of a child. Mishum be ikach chatzipus because it's a chutzpah. Av lo sadu she'en mishdan and mamish neged fun of less than bar. But against the size, there's no problem. Just one final point. Dirshu note 13, very interesting case. If it's Manenu, nowadays, what about nowadays? Says Dirshu, Shemotsu Bechol Mokum Beis HaKisei, Ve'ef Shela Hatsa Meir Aglam Betzniyos. Nowadays, Baruch Hashem, there are bathrooms and it's, it's you. Kosu B'Shad Shuvah Sigrus Meishe. Meishe Feinstein writes, Sheroi L'Chol Yirei Shemayim Le'elich L'Sham, Gam L'Tzorif HaKtanim. Don't go in the street. Don't try and make, to, to make it to the nearest bathroom. Shekivin She'ef Shem Bechalus Lassus Kain. Since it's easier to do, there is less of a need to urinate outside in the street. Therefore, you've got to be much, you've got to try and be as sanu as possible. That's why in some places, even if there are urinals, there are sort of uh, dividers between them. You should try and be as sanu as possible. And sometimes you don't see that. Because down the generations, it was just not done because it was, it was, the world has changed. If you can't go into a cubicle, or if you can't go to a place where it's more sanua, then you shouldn't wait because there's a danger in waiting and not relieving yourself straight away. Okay. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.